Hi, Daisy Nerdats. Welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to be a redstone video, my first one at that. This is because I've invented a redstone contraption. I kind of want to show you guys. This is it. Multiply signals. And yeah, it could probably be a lot more compact. Let me show you it in action. Let's say, I don't know, two times seven. Fourteen. Now it's time to show you guys how this thing works. But before I show you how this signal multiplier works, I sh you should start with the basics with the signal adder. This adds seven and seven make 14. Let me show you what it does. So this redstone torch is gonna give a constant signal of 15 and this comparator is gonna accept that. And then this output of seven is gonna go through here subtracted by the subtractor one to become eight. Same thing happens here, now this is going to be one. Now this gives off a constant signal of, you guessed it, 15. Then this goes here, 15 minus one is going to be 14. It also works, it doesn't have to have both inputs on can function with only one input. So you can see here, 15 minus seven is gonna be eight. And then eight minus zero is gonna be eight. And 15 minus eight is gonna be seven. It even works with no input, say 15 minus zero, is 15 and he, same here 2 and 15 minus 15 is 0. Now that I've explained this and quite possibly over explained signal adders, you can see a modified version in there in here that's modified for speed. Now it's time to show you how the signal adder works. Let's do something like say. One times, um, uh, well, any of these work. How about 12? Yeah, this is the noise is quite satisfying. So, what this is basically doing here is this requires a redstone signal of at least one on output B for output A to be able to go through. This is basically so it doesn't think that 1 times 0 is 1, which it's not, it's 0. This is an output of 12, and then goes over to 11, because it has to be at least 2 for it to, like, add itself and go all the way there. Let me show you how this thing works. So, this is a signal of 1. Now, since this one is at least 2, it's more than one input, so it can be added by itself. And 1 plus 1 is 2. It's probably the first math equation you've ever learned. And then it just goes on until this thing no longer needs to give out power. And then 12 times, no, 12 plus 0 is going to be 12, and this carries on forever until it reaches the end. What the signal here does, as I already told you, it requires a signal of at least two to be able to even pass through. So, this thing here is going to add, be added to itself once. And now, with this here, requires a signal strength of at least three, so it's now going to be added to itself three times, and so on and so on. 
all this really does is transmit the signal one so it can be added to itself that many times. And that is basically how it works. Let me show you some examples. Say, like, I don't know, four times um, three is going to do its thing. And I'll put here, it'll be 12. Let me show you something like one times zero. Well, this isn't at least one, so it can't go through. And this is a single strength of zero, which, of course, is going to carry on and stay zero. Okay, there is one limitation to this, though. Can I do 8 times 14? I can't do 8 times 14 in my head, but what this is going to do, it's going to output 15. That's because the highest single strength a piece of redstone dust can be is 15. And that's not really a fixable problem, it's just like an issue with hecadecimal itself. This happens with signal adders as well, say I do like 13 plus 7, it's not going to output 20, it's going to output 15, because that's the highest it'll go. Anyways, there is going to be a world download down in the description below, so if you want to try this out, then you can, but this is really all I have to say, so bye guys!